Next question, please. Yes, uh, good morning. My name is Drake Hoffman. I'm retired Navy. My question is briefly this. Are the choices of what is going to be cut being made by the White House for maximum shock effect, or are the service chiefs going to be allowed to make sensible decisions? When the president is speaking of the consequence and the impact of sequestration, he's very specific and it's, uh, it's dramatic and it's, uh, it's, it's defined and there's clarity. But when it comes to a specific alternative, a path forward, which is really the essence of leadership, it's vapor. There's nothing definitive there. You can't. He's been in office over four years, and I and I still do not know a definitive proposal from from President Obama on how we get out of this uh, uh, really horrific fiscal trajectory that we're on. I think we got a state oil sale from the president of the United States. He's been dominating this country with, with his desires, his pleas, his threats upon everyone, this whole country. What worries me is the fact that over the past four years, I've seen the Republican Party stick their tail between their legs. Seven trillion dollars in debt. I wake up, well, it's more 15, 16 trillion. And I wake up, sir, every day, every day thinking about this. This is what has driven all of us to, I uh, think, the public service trying to do what's right. We've got to get the Senate to pass a budget. We've got to have a president, sir, who will lead on this. This is the nature of our federal system as a, as a republic. In Washington, for the last four years, Republicans as well as Democrats, have only been asking one question. What do we want to spend on defense? Nobody has been asking the second corollary question, which is what's the risk to the United States of America if we don't supply these resources? Because many of these elements that if you put off uh, the building of a ship or if you put off the maintenance of a ship, that comes to root many years down the road. If you cancel the time of the dry dock, what you've done is to shorten the life of that ship because it wears out fast because you can't get it to port. Also, remember this, if we're sending ships to sea with systems that aren't 100% capable, think about what we're doing to our sailors. Leadership is about setting priorities, and the president has set his. Ours are indeed different. Let me give you a perfect example. We spent so much time in January talking about raising tax rates up, and you know, the president kept saying, you know, just the 1%, you get those people will solve our problems. As soon as they did it, they spent the entire amount of money in an emergency bill for Hurricane Sandy, a large portion of which had nothing to do with emergencies at all. It was all pork that went there, and you spent that money overnight. And so if we raise taxes, but we're not on the same time saying how we control and spending, it's not going to do us any good. I can tell you that uh, the Republican position with respect to taxation, and I know this is an unpopular topic, but I think it must be said, I, I wouldn't feel good if I left here today and didn't say it. But we have hurt our party, I believe. I've made this case within our conference. I've spoken to the speaker, to the, to the majority leader. I've spoken to Chairman Ryan and others that when we have, uh, you know, just lock ourselves around the Americans for Tax Reform pledge. It essentially locks us into a level of revenue that we haven't been at since 1959, six years before Medicare and Medicaid. This is not a feeling that I have. This is the empirical data. And I can walk anybody through it with a, with a number line and, and tell you that, that we too, as Republicans, have contributed to some of this gridlock. Senator, or Congressman Rigel, in response to one of the questions, you said to prevent the cuts of sequestration, you would have to look at the budget as a whole, and you mentioned that buzzword, entitlements. We all know entitlements is a buzzword for Social Security. Well, it's a short way of, entitlements is a short way of saying, you know, yes, Medicare, Medicaid, uh, and, and Social Security is where all of those need to be addressed because of the great percentage that they represent of the federal budget. The president agrees with this as well. I mean, there's, we're running out of money in Medicare. We've got to strengthen it and preserve it. But changes and, and meaningful, wise reforms have got to be enacted. Inaction is not an option here.